Well, I know the one that I participated in. I, I think the structure was a little different. We didn't have anybody who called themselves Bumblebee or Zerogs by whatever. I think we had a couple of people who technically were mentors, but they really had a hands-off role. Um, and I don't know if that was intentional or if it just happened to be this particular group of people. I mean, it was a, a few years ago too, so it might not have been in a, a part of the uh, process that you guys were using. Um, but they were sort of, I mean, and some of it too is that the people who were mentors I believe were program officers at NSF, if not all of them, most of them. And so that set it up in a strange way where, you know, you almost felt like you're, you're consulting an Oracle when you talk to a mentor, which is a really different vibe from what I think we had at our workshop. Um, you know, cause you'd go up to the Oracle <laughs> and you'd say, here's the idea. What do you think? You know, subtext, will you fund this? <laughs> which, um, I mean, it's helpful. It's just a different kind of interaction and, and the conversations weren't nearly as rich. Um, because they were playing their cards close to their best. They, they, I think they felt like they couldn't say certain things. They had to maintain a certain impartiality. And so I, I think there's this interesting continuum between, you know, being an impartial oracle on the one end of the spectrum and then being basically a participant, <laughs> you know, on the other side. And you want to be somewhere in the middle there, right? You know, you don't want to be joining the project, but nor do you want to be so removed that you're not engaging with the ideas and, and, and really giving um, helping people think through their problems in a really active way. 